Hey, what's going on everybody? Nick here from Smack Rock. And today we got a Fire Mage PvP guide for you guys. Uh, full disclaimer, we do not think we're the best of Fire Mages. There are definitely other Fire Mages out there that are totally better than us. We just do this for fun, record for fun, and we just think that Fire Mage is the best class for us right now. Just because it gives us a little bit more freedom of what, what we want to do. And we definitely think it's the most fun class out right now. So, uh, with that, we're going to get into it just right now. start off, it, what we're going to do is um, our talents. Um, this is uh, the talents that I like to roll with, um, basically, just because of um, the simplicity of them, and it's probably the easiest of specs, um, I would say. So, for your level 15, obviously, Blazing Speed. Uh, it's a it's a quick getaway. Um, it only lasts let's see uh, a, a second and a half. But if you're just trying to get away from somebody, boom, you're out of there. Um, level thirty. I like to go flame glow just because it, it's a passive um, damage debuff, uh, damage um, uh, reduction. Uh, ultra time can be good at times, I guess, but I don't really like to use it because. I don't know, I'm not really a fan of it. Ice Barrier, 25 second cooldown, only lasts for a minute and only absorbs 25,000 damage. I mean, um, most people out there crit are craning for like 100k, so like uh, that's not even, doesn't really do anything. Uh, I like Flame Go because it protects you with fiery energy absorbing up to 1500 damage from each enemy attack against you up to 30% of each attack. So. I definitely like it more. Uh, for level 45, I like using Ice Ward. Um, this is all situational because um, obviously it protects against melee attacks. So if a melee, you just put this up as three stacks. If uh, say a warrior hits you, they get frozen in place and they're just just stuck there, and you got two more. Um, also, I like to use uh, Frost Shot too because, um, like I said, if you're going for arenas, it's it's all situational. Uh, Frost Shaw is nice against um, uh, casters because it silences them and it freezes them in place, but has a 20 second cooldown. Um, I don't really like using Ring of Frost just because of the cast time, um, but like I said, it's all situational. Um, level 60 talent, I got uh, Cold Snap just because, you know, two ice blocks and it heals you for 22% of your maximum health. And it also resets the cooldown of Dragon's Breath and Frost Nova, but we don't have Frost Nova, so only um, Ice Block and um, Dragon's Breath. Um, Cauterize, I don't think it's good anymore. Um, I mean, back in the day, it was good when you didn't have to spec into it, um, or it wasn't a talent. I mean, it was. I think it was a talent, but you didn't have to pick between two others. Um, Greater invisibility can be nice, um, but I don't really use it. I like Cold Snap just because of the heals, um, because I don't really queue with a lot of healers, and, you know, getting heals on your own is a lot better. Um, level 75 talent, you got Blast Wave. This is, this is a given. Um, you got Double Blast Waves. This is your hardest hitting move. Um, let's go, let's just... Is there not a level 100 here, except for this guy? Alright, um, so yeah, that's 20, 20k non-crit and 22k. It's all situational, like I said. Um, uh, the damage varies. Sometimes I get 60k crit, sometimes I get 22k crits. Um, let's see, um, it does slow them uh, by 75% or 70%. A primary enemy target will take 100% increased damage, max two tar max two charges, replaces Frost Nova. So you don't have Frost Nova anymore, so you can't freeze them, but you can slow them. And the primary target that you have selected takes increased damage. So if you want a really big burst in somebody, you just, uh, um, I'll talk about the rotation later, but you just, you know, double blast wave and they're pretty much dead. Uh, level 90 talent, I got Encanter's Flow. Just because it's a passive um, damage boost, uh, magical energy flows through you while in combat, building up to 20% increased damage, and then diminishing down by 5% down down to 4% increased damage, cycling every 10 seconds. 
like I said, this is um, this is all um, personal preference, just because you know it's a passive ability, passive damage, um, rune of power. I do not recommend for PvP, just because you have to place it down and stand in that spot. So it's a little weird to me. Um, and the mirror image is a two two minute cooldown. Although this can be good, um, it lasts 40 seconds and they um, uh, they attack for you, you get three of them, but I like can just a little better. Level 100 talent, finally. Uh, I like to use Meteor and sometimes Prismatic Crystal. Um, this is all preference and I like using Meteor just because of the simplicity and how cool it looks. Um, you basically just call down a giant ass Meteor and destroy people's faces like that. And it can hit very hard, but also Prismatic Crystal can get can hit very hard too. Um, so that's uh, that's our talents. Uh, I'm gonna get into our glyphs now. So our first major glyph, I like to use Glyph of Ignite. Um, causes your ignite to slow to also slow the target's movement speed by 50%. So I like to use this because um, our only real slow is blast wave because they got rid of frost firebolt so before they got rid of frost firebolt i wasn't using this because frost firebolt actually slowed them i was actually using uh, the glyph of spell steel which uh, heals you four percent of your maximum health once it su successfully steals a spell but now i use this because you know we don't get many slows so as you can see as long as you keep um pumping out damage they have that um the damage debuff or uh, movement debuff. So for our second uh, glyph, I got a uh, glyph of regenerative regenerative ice. You regenerate four percent of your maximum health for every second for the duration of ice block. So the duration of ice block is ten seconds. So I mean you can get from like ten percent health up to like fifty sixty percent. It's really nice. And then to uh, to use cold snap that heals you a lot too so you're pretty much at full and now for our last major I got glyph of polymorph your polymorph spell also removes all damage over time effects from the target this is very nice um, considering we're a fire mage and then we spread a lot of dots um, and if you really wanna if you really need to CC somebody you just uh, you know just pick them and boom your dots are gone you don't have to worry about it breaking but, you know, you have to worry about your dumbass uh, uh, teams breaking them. Alright, so now, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you a rotation. Uh, full disclaimer, for PvP, there isn't a real rotation like PvE. Um, but, uh, this is personal preference for me. Um, I find this works well for me. So if, 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 if it works well for you, go ahead and try it, but like I said, uh, Fire Mage is all preference in PvP and you gotta find out the way you like it. So uh, the way I like to start off things in PvP is um, since we have our, um, our four piece, um, no, our two piece. Casting Scorch reduces the cast time and increases the critical strike chance of Fireball by 15% stacks to, stacking up to 3 times. So what I like to do is get 3 ignition stacks by stacking uh, Scorch and it also uh, makes us run faster. And then I just, by that time I have um, Hot Shriek and then, you know, I just, I just keep pumping out damage and it, it's all situational. Um, you know, I can't really uh, tell you exactly how to play Fire Mage, but it, like I said, it, it's all situational. But like, see, 41k, I, like, um, when it comes to this, guys, it, it's it, it in PvP, man, you can't really work on a set rotation, but, um. That's pretty much it. Just gotta get your three ignition stacks at, at the start. Go with a fireball. By that point, you probably have a stack of hot. Uh, he you probably have a heating up, and then just hit them with an inferno blast. Go into a pyroblast, 
Um, Power Blast doesn't hit as hard as it used to anymore, which is kind of sad. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, what I like to do is, um, you know, Blazing Speed into them, Dragon's Breath, throw it, pop a Meteor on them, and then just keep pumping out damage. And then, because that puts a dot on them too, as you can see, Meteor Burn which is pretty nice and then I just combust spread and then they're all burning to death and just watch the damage like the dots just completely annihilate people um, so now what I'm going to talk about is um, our enchants and our what um, uh, what enhancements you want to what enhancements you want to stack so basically what we want is crit and mastery that's pretty much a done deal uh, because you know crit we, we depend on our um, our hot streak so as you can see I have a 42% chance to crit on buff just with uh, uh, Dalaran and brilliance which is arcade and Flight. and that is really good and I'm still missing uh, two pieces of gear no, I got I gotta replace this trinket and then we want mastery because your target burns for an additional 21.1% over 5 seconds of the total direct damage caused by your fireball, forest fireball, which we don't have anymore, in front of blast, scorch, power blast, flame strike, meteor, and their multi strikes. If this effect is reapplied, any remaining damage will be applied to, will be added to the new ignite. So our uh, ignite is this. This is our dot, which also slows them. So that's going to be on them all the time. Uh, as for enchants, uh, anything to do with crit. So, um, crit to neck, uh, crit to back, uh, Mark of the Thunderlord for more crit, uh, crit enchants for a ring, because I, I just got these rings, so I haven't enchanted them yet. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, it's, it's all really simple. Um, it's really fun. I do, I do recommend... Uh, giving Fire Mage out a try. Um, it, it's definitely one of the more, more fun classes out there. Um, I definitely, definitely recommend it if you guys haven't tried it. Um, they definitely, you know, it, they're definitely the lower tier class out there in PvP right now just because they don't do that much damage. But if you know how to play them, they could be very, very deadly. Um, as for arenas, um, I am not the best at arenas. Um, I, I'm more of a, a, a BG and RBG guy. So um, if you want, you know, arena guides, there's definitely other people out there to to, to show you what to do. But I, we are not the ones to uh, to show you guys. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'll be glad to, you know, answer any questions you have as for, like, how to CC the right people or practically anything. If you guys need help, I'm here for you. Uh, as well as Mac, he, you know, he has the fire mage, too. So, also, if you guys want to play with us, um, you know, just, uh, let me know. You, you can... DM us our your real ID and we'll you know we'll play we'll do some BGs RBGs whatever you want to do. Um, but that's gonna do it for this guys. If you you know enjoyed our uh, our little you know mediocre guide, make sure you let us know. Uh, if it helped you, great. If it didn't, I'm sorry. You know, like I said, we're not the best. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next little uh, video. See ya.